science, science, science in pajamas. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something called dimensional analysis. So, let's see what my red mark is on. We have... Dimensional analysis. Now, what this is talking about and what it's looking at is how all of the measurements in a problem need to have the same units. You can't multiply miles times kilometers or t time in seconds times hours. You have to put everything into the same units. So what you'll have to do is some conversion. Now it could be a little trickier than just metric conversion because we might not be going from meters to kilometers. Like I said, we could be going from miles to kilometers or kilometers to miles or kilometers to feet or days to seconds. So it's not always going to be as straightforward as, you know, just moving the decimal point. In dimensional analysis, it looks at converting any kind of unit from one to the other in order to figure out the answer. Now we're going to do a few examples of this. Number one, let's see. How many miles will a person run during a 15 kilometer race? So how many miles will a person run in a 15 kilometer race. Now if you look at this, we have very, very different measurements. I'm trying to get that glare off. That one. So we have very, very different measurements. We have miles is what we're trying to figure out. And we know that there, the amount is should be the same as 15 kilometers. Now those are not the same. They're not even in the same unit. One is metric, one is not. So that means we're going to have to go through and convert. Now you always want to start with what's known. So I know that I have 15 kilometers. Well, I can also look up and find out that one kilometer is equal to about 0 0.62 miles. Now you see how kilometers on the top and bottom? Remember how like in math, if you had the same value, you can reduce it and cancel them out? It's the same way with units. Kilometer on the top and kilometer on the bottom cancel out. And now look, we're only left with a unit of miles. And how you do these problems is you multiply across and then divide top from bottom from top, sorry. So 15 times 0 0.62 would be 9.5. Five miles over one, because that's the only value down there, which would just simply be 9.315 miles. And there's our answer. Hopefully not too bad. Right, let's go ahead and do another one, shall we? So in this one, how many seconds are there in two years? So we have how many seconds are there in two years? Once again, not the same unit at all. So we're going to have to do some dimensional analysis to figure this out. 
So what we can do is, once again, start with what we know. We know that we are starting with two years. All right. Well, I know I've got to cancel that out. So one year is equal to 365 days. One day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now let's make sure that all of our units will cancel out. So we have years cancel, days cancel, hour cancels, minutes cancel, and we are left with seconds. So when we go through, we multiply this straight across, and then we're going to multiply these numbers across, divide them by these numbers at the bottom. So 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. It's going to be whatever the top is, divide by 1. And what we will get from that is 63 million. Seventy two thousand seconds are in two years. So all we had to do is two times three hundred and sixty five times twenty four times sixty times sixty, and that is how we got this answer. All right, we'll do one more together. All right. All right. So, the last problem for this one. Let's say the average student is in class for 450 minutes per day. So, average student is in class. 450 minutes per day. All right. How many hours per day is this? So we know the minutes per day we want to figure out the hours per day. All right, so again, start with what we know. We know 450 minutes per one day. All right, well, we want to cancel out the minutes and we want to convert it to hours. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. So if we go through and we do the math, the minutes will cancel out. We're left with hours per day. So it'd be 450 times one divided by one times 60. So 450 divided by 60 would give us seven Point five hours per day. All right. Well, how many seconds is this? How many seconds per day is a student in class? Well, why don't we go ahead and figure out what seconds would be then? So we know that 7.5 hours per one day. Hours in 
one day, in one hour, there's 60 minutes, in one minute, there are 60 seconds, and then cancel out. Cancel out hours, minutes, and we're left with seconds per day. So 7.5 times 60 times 60 again divided by 1 would give us 27,000 seconds in one day. Now, actually, what I also could have done if I wanted to is I could have gone back to minutes. We already knew the minutes. So I could have just taken the minutes, multiplied that by one minute, 60 seconds, multiplied that across. So 450 times 60 should be 27,000 seconds per day. All right. Well, I hope that helps you guys understand dimensional analysis a little bit more. If you have questions, see me in our Google Classroom, through email, or, you know, whichever way works for you. It's all good. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Um, stay awesome. Stay curious. Stay safe and healthy. Right, talk to you guys later.